Hey everybody, um, welcome to this channel update. It's been a long time since I've done a channel update of kind of any any sort, uh, and it's a, a long time coming. Bear with my, t I have a TV on with the monitor on. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. Uh, that way it doesn't kind of blind me constantly uh, while I'm doing this. I do have a couple of big announcements though. Uh, some very cool stuff is going on, including a brand new show that... I know I've done other these other new shows like Snack Shack and Blind Bag and stuff like that lately, but this is this is bigger. This is much bigger for me, uh, and I'm extremely extremely excited about. it. I'm a lot nervous too, um, because I'm not sure how it's going to be perceived. Uh, but I'll get a little bit more. I'll get more into that in just a bit and explain the entire thing of what's going on with it. Uh, but first off, thank you everybody for subscribing to this channel. It's reached over 10,000 subscribers, like confetti throw and all that kind of stuff. 10,000 subscribers. Um, you know, I've been doing this a long time. I'm going on my ninth year, and, you know, I thank you, everybody. There's some people that have been here since the opening moments of the original, of the channel, the original channel, uh, and I'm, I'm go probably in the more detail, and I always kind of bring up the whole history of everything when I do my yearly kind of anniversary video, um, but this is a milestone, and I'm, thank you guys, honestly, bottom heart kind of thing. I, I don't mean to be sappy, but it does mean a lot when people are enjoying what I do and I can see that people are enjoying it uh, I don't always do the best job of showing like any kind of emotion type thing of being like legit showing you guys just how happy and um, thankful I am that you guys continue to watch and support this channel uh, I'm actually going almost on two years of doing this as a full-time um, job uh, with the streaming along with video making and stuff like that and the, the last few months I've really kind of changed it uh, and a lot of things have been changing, and I feel like for the better. Last year has been kind of hectic for this channel uh, and for everything, and I feel like the last six months, we've gotten now to a better spot. There's a lot going on, um, and I feel like I'm finally getting into a groove as far as uh, video going and video making going and new shows going and stuff like that. Uh, but thank you, everybody, for subscribing to this. Um, very quick plug. Um, if you do love this channel, if you do like this channel, uh, do consider giving to the Patreon uh, I do talk about it at the end now of Play It Throughs. I do a thank you at the end of Play It Throughs. And the new show I'm going to be doing soon uh, will also have uh, the thank yous in it, which is very important. So uh, just letting you guys uh, know about that. Um, but if you don't know what Patreon is, just really, really fast. It's like a monthly pledge to the, to the channel. Um, and you can do as little as $1. Uh, and that does help going to keeping this stuff going. Um, most of what I, you know, I'm doing is buying the extra equipment and improving the videos, uh, and bringing new content out all the time. Um, so in like, you know, donations are great. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, watching advertisements, uh, you know, watching the ads on YouTube, which I know are very annoying does help the channel as well, but this is kind of like a, a way to help the channel that bit more, um, because quite honestly, uh, you know, we don't, we're not a big channel. This is not like a. This is not a big sh channel. I kind of look at what I do as kind of like the mom and pop shop uh, type of YouTube uh, gaming, if that makes any sense. It's for our YouTube video making, uh, for all that, I put a lot of time, a lot of work, uh, and I love it to death. Uh, but I'm kind of just sitting here. We're sitting here in our small little business while like all these other like the WalMarts of YouTube uh, are kind of buying everybody out. The GameStops of YouTube are kind of buying everything up and, and kind of taking over everything else while we're just kind of sitting here uh, in our little uh, little thing. So if you do love this, uh, the channel of anything on it, uh, do consider checking out the Patreon. Okay, enough plugging. Um, and I do want to do once uh, at some point a bigger Patreon video uh, to kind of explain like the... Um, you, you get benefits too, not just the thank yous. There's other things you can get on there and there's a lot more coming. Uh, and new incentives and stuff like that. Okay. Enough, enough of that. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the new show. The new show, 5th Gen Gamer. Uh, I have never been this excited and nervous about any new thing I have done on my YouTube channel, ever. Uh, and there's a lot of reasons for this. I've been talking about doing 5th Gen Gamer for years now. It's been years, actually, since I came up with the idea uh, to do the show, and I never, I, I didn't think I could, I didn't get around to it, I was too lazy, I was too whatever, um, but I feel like 5th Gen Gamer uh, is a good concept, it's a good idea, and it's a passion of mine. Now you may say, what exactly is this? Okay, if you don't know what 5th Gen is, 
Uh, fifth generation of gaming is between, and I, I think the years span 2000, or sorry, 1993 to 2001, 2002, something like that. That's like the entire span of the fifth gen, but fifth gens bleed into one another, because, you know, this is how it goes. Like, the fourth gen was still going strong in 93, um, but systems come out. It's, it's based on when the systems launch. For example, some of the early um, fifth gen systems, or at least according to the list I've been looking at, like the 3DO uh, is actually considered fifth gen, even though I, I, I would think it would be fourth gen. Uh, but like stuff like 3DO and uh, you know is, is the in Jaguar, uh, the Jaguar, the 3DO, Virtual Boy, there's a fifth gen. But more importantly, the N64, the PlayStation One, and the Sega Saturn. Those are the big systems for the fifth generation. And the fifth generation marked a very big change as far as me as a gamer, and it, it marked a very huge change for gaming in general, with the jump from 2D as the mainstay to 3D and improving the graphics even more and more hardware, and, and, and the whole concept of a lot of things changed in the, the whole fifth generation of gaming. Things completely changed, and they're... Things that happened then are still in place today, like the creation of Sony as a major powerhouse in gaming. Uh, and Nintendo kind of taking a step back in a lot of ways. And then the f complete fall and elimination of Sega by the time the 6th gen was done. So the, the, a lot happened there. It's a very uh, trying time for gaming. A lot of great things, revolutionary for gaming. And for me personally, it was a lot of, of awesome things going on. Uh, when I was young, when I was 10 or younger, was when I played a lot of NES, Super Nintendo, and Sega Genesis. But once I got into like middle school and got into my teens, that's when the fifth generation really took hold. And I, I love the PlayStation 1, the N64, and the Sega Saturn, especially, obviously, the PS1 Sega, and, and N64. I'm going to say Saturn. I love the Saturn, but not quite as much as the 64 or PS1. Um... So I created this new show to be kind of more review and retrospective of games uh, from that era. It's going to be games, a lot of games you know, uh, games maybe you've never heard of, hidden gems and stuff like that. It's going to be a large variety of, uh, and, and, and hopefully, eventually, system reviews as well, maybe for the lesser known systems that are out there, and I can review games on those uh, individual systems as well. Uh, it is, like I said, a retrospective and review type show. There is some comedy thrown in there. Uh, it is PG, at least as of now. I don't know. I don't, I'm don't. i not going to get really too raunchy. I know uh, a lot of my other shows, of course, have you know are, are cursing and stuff like that, and there's people out there who don't like that. Um, which I can respect. Um, the the fifth gen gamer isn't going to include that. It's going to be much more in line with the play it through. So play it throughs and fifth gen gamer are kind of be you know uh, brother brother shows, uh, family shows like uh, or maybe father and son shows in a way because you know with the the NES and most of my play it throughs are NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, and before and then of course fifth gen is going to be PS One and all that. So kind of maybe father son shows. It will be on its own channel, uh, which will eventually be called 5th Gen Gamer. Unfortunately, I can't name it that right now, so I'm just going to have to link it. And it will include a link. I haven't even set up the channel yet. Uh, like, this is all going on, like, right now as, like, everything is kind of happening. Uh, the show is launching, hopefully, tomorrow. Uh, and I just actually finished completely editing, and I put 30-plus hours of work uh, into this very, very first episode uh, so I, I hope you guys will check it out uh, and enjoy it. Uh, the plan is for the, to be a monthly show. Um, I don't want to promise more than monthly, just because, of course, it's going to be like, like I said, thirty to thirty, you know, thirty to forty hours, if not more, per sh episode. Once we kind of get going with things. And it's going to require re eventually shooting skits and and more like that. It's going to be. Like I said, more in line with reviewers, like you may see Happy Video Game Nerd, or you know, Stop Skeletons from Fighting, or EVGN, or Pro Jared, or Peanut Butter Gamer, or, and, and all the likes like that. Um, and like I said, focus strictly on 5th Gen. The plan is to do a monthly big show, uh, like a main episode per month, and uh, sprinkle in quick episodes. Uh, I know some people have done like something called Game Quickies. Uh, I'm not going to use that name. I don't want to take their name or anything like that. So 
Uh, it will be called something else, maybe just, you know, 5th Gen Short or something along those lines. But um, that will include maybe lesser-known games that I can't really do, like, a full-blown review. Maybe, like, a game like Bug Riders for the PS1. Wish I had that sitting right here. Because um, <laughs> that's just a weird um, weird game on the, on, on, the, on the PS1. But stuff like that. Um, so, there you go. Like I said, I, I, I hope you guys check it out. Uh, it's, uh, it's a labor of love has gone into this, and I'm, like I said, I've never been more excited, uh, and nervous, uh, for a, a thing in my life. Like I said, I will link it, uh, and annotate it, maybe, if I can remember to annotate it, after it goes up here, um, and I will, but like I said, it's gonna be on its own, uh, unique channel, so please follow me on Twitter, Facebook, uh, you know, I will be posting it on that, so I know it's gonna be a little bit difficult to see it, um, but I'm going to do my best. And I, I, the reason why I'm putting it on its own channel is that way it's its own established thing. Uh, people can find it that way um, and, and all that. So I, I don't know what to expect from it. Uh, it <laughs> like I said, I, I'm blabbling. I, I'm blabbling. What the hell is that? I'm blabbling. That's not even a word. I'm blabbering. Um, <laughs> but uh, anyway, so that's kind of what's going on. And real quick. Uh, before we get going, everything else will still remain here. Uh, Wrestle Theme Reviews is back. Uh, if you don't know Re- Wrestle Theme Reviews, I did the show with File 91 e a few years ago uh, where we reviewed random professional wrestling entrance themes. The show is back in full force. The second episode just went up. Uh, I will link Wrestle Theme Reviews YouTube channel. That's its own separate YouTube channel as well. So you can check that out. Um, Snack Shack will be remaining here. If you don't know what Snack Shack is, if you haven't watched it yet, it's funny. Check it out. There's a lot of fun, weird, interesting stuff that I bought from Japan and other places. We tried out all the uh, Frito-Lay's um, uh, summer 2015 chips. Uh, I got a lot of good feedback on those episodes. So a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, Blind Bag Bonus uh, has is just starting. Uh, which we ask you guys, we open up a blind bag, and you guys decide if we keep it or destroy it. It's up to you, one or not. And once we get, like, four that we're going to destroy, we're going to do a special destroy special. Uh, special destroy special. Uh, where we're going to do a wheel. We're going to spin a wheel with a bunch of, like, you know, elements of destruction. Uh, and that's how these things will perish. Uh, so that should be cool. Um, when that does happen. So, like I said, th- there's a ton going on. Bar Geeks is still going strong. Uh, Barky is actually stronger than it's ever been. It's now a weekly show, the thing I've always wanted it to be. I, I started the channel a year ago, uh, but it, it, there was a long period of time where there wasn't updates because I couldn't, you couldn't get the episodes done, but now it's not the case. We have a regular filming schedule. We have a regular editor. Uh, and Bar Geeks has become a full-blown regular show. If you've never checked out that, Bar Geeks will be linked down below. We try out video game and nerve-related drinks. Even if you're not into drinking, if you're not like, you know, into alcohol or anything like that, um, it's still kind of cool the kind of some of the stuff we've come up with. There's some really, really amazing episodes coming out. We just most recently uh, did a Metal Gear episode uh, featuring us uh, uh, based on Psycho Manus, and we have an upcoming episode this week based on Mario for Mario Maker coming out. So, really cool stuff. Um, Last, um, and I hope, I'm going to do another promo video for this probably on Monday, so you're probably going to see its own little bonus video by itself on Monday, Um, but Friday, of course, Mario Maker's coming out, and I won't be in town, I'm going to uh, a video game convention, Mag Classic, MagFest Classic, uh, this upcoming weekend, so I won't be here for Mario Maker's launch, however, if you are getting Mario Maker, Join us September 18th on my Twitch page, uh, also YouTube gaming pages, either one, um, uh, twitch.tv slash corncheck, if you don't know that. Um, And I'm going to be doing a special Mario Maker night where people that are members of the Patreon, people that donate, um, or just randomly, I will play their levels or their chosen levels. Because even if you don't own the game, you can go online right now. If you search Mario Maker levels, you can find tons of levels already online. And most people are gracious enough to show you the code for the level at the end of it. So as long as I have that code, I can put it in my game and play it. And and you don't have to, you know, have the game yourself. Uh, so there's a way for you guys to challenge. You can create your most messed up stages you could ever possibly create and have me uh, try to beat them. So, anyway, guys, I've talked uh, I've talked way, way, way too long already on, on this. Um, thank you all. Like I said, 10,000 subscribers is just freaking amazing and unbelievable. Uh, please check out 5th Gen Gamer when the first episode uh, goes up. 
Um, which I probably need to do. I'll probably do a little teaser here. Maybe I should do a teaser on the main YouTube. That way it links to the other thing. Thinking. Brain thoughts. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you all. And uh, I, I hope you hope you continue to enjoy the channel and enjoy all the uh, amazing new content that's coming. Thank you for watching.